Well, these are some of the beautiful roses that are growing in my neighborhood. This isn't my house. There's a lovely lady that lives in the house there, that brick house, that grew all these roses. Aren't they beautiful? I had to share them. They Hello. I thought we could take a look today at the April 2022 Vogue with Bella Hadid on the cover. Being Bella, a supermodel, speaks from the heart. And she's wearing a John Galliano dress. We can't see the whole thing because it's covered by the stickers. But the dress is uh, featured in the magazine. And she just is wearing jeans and no shoes with that dress on the cover. But she has a very simple, clean look with her beautiful brown hair. First thing we see is a Lancome ad. And this is a face serum, and there's a beautiful face advertising it. An earring with a, with a chain hanging down. It says this was tested on a thousand women, and nine out of ten of those women saw improvement in their skin. Next we see a Dior ad. They have a mini bag here. I'm pretty sure that's a mini bag and not a micro bag. And it's a bright orange. CD. And look at these beautiful rings. When I checked the Dior website, I came to find out these are a sorbet ring. And they're each unique if you were to order one. And they are a unique multicolor resin. So these that they have to show with this ad, the colors are very complementary to this orange bag. And then look at these two. Uh, I would call them dresses or suits. But there's that same orange and the shoes are orange, black. And they have several different colors. It kind of looks like a pop art inspired theme. And they have exotic animals screen printed on them. This one has some kind of a lizard and that one has some kind of a, like a leopard. And then they look like they're on stairs, but I bet you this is just, you know, an optical illusion. Black, white, black, white, black, white with a yellow stripe running through it. It's kind of cool. I guess maybe it could um, signify a, a runway or maybe even a road. Let me see the black here too, but an orange stripe through it, like the orange bag. Here we have Bulgari, and there's Zendaya, isn't she beautiful? She has on two rings, a bracelet, one of these necklaces. I can't tell if the, she has the diamond one on or not. And earrings. Very um, classic look there. And here are the here are two of the beautiful necklaces that you can buy from there. The beginning of the magazine has the expensive uh, ads. Maybe not that Lancome, but the tone of the ads change as we go through the magazine. And this says, in the mood for Prada. And this is a shift dress. I looked it up, it's double satin. And these um, are bracelets. They are cuff bracelets. I'm pretty sure that this model or the designer or the photographer chose to put up top on this model's arm. They're pink. And the pink and the brown look pretty together. And she has beautiful natural hair and just a natural look about her. This dress has a belt inside of it, a hidden inside belt. It's, it's um, the, the crafting of it, there's another triangle, is really um, I, I would say complicated, but 
you can read about it on their site. It's $4,700. Here's an Omega ad with Kaya Gerber, black and white ad. She's got on a simple, a pretty casual outfit. Here's her tattoo, one of her tattoos. And this is, says Kaya Gerber's Choice. Kaya, am I saying it wrong? And that's a very simple watch. A lot of the Omega watches have a lot of diamonds on them. But that looks like just a simple stainless steel with gold and probably a mother of pearl face. And she looks just like her mom, doesn't she? She looks just like Christy, uh, Cindy Crawford. I almost said Christy Brinkley. She looks just like Cindy Crawford, I think. Here's Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, born 1939 in Bronx, New York. And here are some of his clothes that are at Saks Fifth Avenue. At least that's where I found them on the internet. And it is an ECOT inspired print. That's a, a dyeing process. That's a silk jumpsuit and a cotton flannel shirt with a, with again, that inspired print, that ECOT inspired print, skirt, I'm assuming that's silk too. And these are embellished jeans. It's an embellished boyfriend jean and a sateen shirt and I'm assuming a silk blazer. They all have on very uh, pretty earrings and no other jewel, well, they have necklaces. There's a bag that looks just like these. Prints and shoes. And they are on a rocky seascape. This is a four-page Giorgio Ornani ad. And it's the same model. Yep, same model. All four pages. And the first we start off with is this beautiful pink gown. And the top has like a grid made of these little um, sequins. In the middle, at the cleavage, there's a band of fabric to contrast that grid up top, and then it's just flowy. And this is probably a top and a skirt, I assume, or maybe those are even culottes, maybe. I don't know. I didn't look it up. No, I did. I couldn't find it. Look at her pretty earring. Yep, they have some twists in her top and a little little peekaboo there. She's got on heels, a plain nail. I think she's got a plain nail in all the pictures. Well, we can't see her hands in a lot of them. This is the same outfit and same earrings on each page. Look at these earrings. They remind me of a cookie with a big cherry in the middle. And this huge bag. And it's got pink and blue and red in it. It's enormous. I'm assuming these pants are silk. And look at this um, top that she has on in both pictures. Bottega Veneta. I couldn't find this dress either. It's just a um, one shoulder black dress. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? She's in kind of maybe um, an old building. It's a little dilapidated, but it doesn't matter because she's there to add the beauty. And look at her beautiful red lips. Um, this is one of Tracy Ellis Ross's favorite designers, I've learned. And look at this ad, Van Cleef and Arpels. And this is a Lady Fairy watch with enamel, diamonds, the little skirt has sapphires, white gold, white mother of pearl. Um, look at it. The numbers only go up. This how the numbers are. There's a 10 in the middle. That's probably a uh, a little swirl there. 
Isn't it pretty? I bet you that is very expensive. Look at all the detail. And look at that beautiful midnight blue with a couple clouds. So now we get into the um, table of contents. Here's a model and an actor, and they're wearing um, matching outfits. The sunglasses are Gucci. Speaking of sunglasses, here we have J. Lo, Dolce & Gabbana ad, and they are advertising the eyewear on this. This is uh, David Gandy. Look at her nails, aren't they beautiful? Very, very uh, sexy little ad there. Look at that little outfit and her belt. He's got on a gold necklace. Here we have Bella and Gigi wearing Versace. And I think this is La Medusa line, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know much about this stuff. Look at them. They have the same eyes, I think. And you know what? Their lips are a lot alike, too, huh? She reminds me of a mermaid. And there's Donatella over there in that picture. And we have some safety pins on this outfit here. There might be some on here too. She has this little bag attached to her middle uh, clasp here. Might be a belt. And they have the same necklace on. I learned something about Versace with these safety pin dresses. The first one was worn by Liz Hurley in 1994. This is Laurel Piana. We have another seascape. Oh, look at this. A beautiful contrast Look with this beautiful, beautiful brown skin with that beautiful sweater. And I would assume that the sweater's made of cotton, but I don't know. They make um, their clothing from all raw materials. This beautiful ad. Michael Kors. What is she up to? She is maybe escaping. She's on top of a building and here's a water tower. <laughs> I don't know. She's all in black, but look at her beautiful shoes and her beautiful outfit. You can't tell because her hair kind of blends in with the black of the outfit, but look at her beautiful long brown ponytail. She's going to climb up that uh, water tower. She's trying to escape from something. She, um, here's Bella atop her, I'm assuming her horse. Their family farm is in Pennsylvania. And a lot of these photos were taken there. And here is a Swarovski, a Swarovski crystal ad. This was in April, so I think that this might have been a Mother's Day type campaign because we see probably a mom and a babe, a little child here. Look at all that beautiful jewelry. There is a lot on here. And it says, love mom. Bring her love to light. They both have on similar shirts. Look at It's all that beautiful blue, like an aquamarine blue. I'm not sure what they technically call it, but that's what I would call it. Maybe they're flying to Morocco. That's what this ad reminds me of. Doesn't this couple look like they would be in probably somewhere hot because everything's open. This is a Banana Republic ad. And they're just lounging on their beautiful leather daybed with a bunch of beautiful pillows that looks like you might have picked them up in some kind of a Bazaar and their globes and their beautiful faces and look at this guy here. 
Who could forget about him? They're beautiful little corgi. Look at that beautiful yellow gown. So pretty. Here are some articles on the contributors. Here's a tag your watch ad. I don't know if I said that right. The thrill of progress. Some play on a court. Others create their own. FP movement. This is free people. I'm pretty sure they've come out with a fitness line. Look at these shoes. Look at that cushion. It just She just bounces as she runs. Another ad with water in the background. And it looks very pretty. This is a wonderful story. It says pedal pusher. Dries Van Noten. Don't know if I'm saying that right. This is in Antwerp. He is a fashion designer. And he, this is part of his 55 acre floral oasis in Antwerp. And a lot of these flowers provided the inspiration for his new gender fluid scents. There's 10 of them. We'll see the packaging in a meta minute when I turn the page. The ads have definitely taken a turn for um, the, um, like a drugstore brand Olay that you can buy. <laughs> we went from expensive dresses to Olay and then Dove. The ads that we would normally see in maybe Better Homes and Gardens or something. And here are the packages for these um, scents. And there are um, cosmetics as well. Look at this model with red hair and a blue furry coat and the bird. That bird has every color of the rainbow on him. This story is about Cartier and Chitoa Abe. Um, redesigning Cartier's a Trinity collection, putting a modern twist on it with the yellow, white, and rose gold. They've created, the designer Ave has created a three band ring that can caress three, even four fingers, a triplet bracelet. And there are other things too. There are earrings and a collar like necklace. Look at this ad a la rose. We just see the back of someone carrying this gigantic bouquet of roses. Pink roses walking down a street in Paris. Many pages of a next Planon ad. Vanessa Hudgens is there. She is. This is her. Uh, one of the things she might sell other things. For all I know, I loved this article. Um, there are at least five LA artists featured in this. Yes, five female artists, and they are in. A residential neighborhood of LA right near the river called Frogtown. And this one is this painting, their sculpture too. There might be something else. There might be other media. I don't know. This is Austin Wiener. Thank you for sharing. Here's a sculpture, Megan Reed, untitled. But I not because it has a cat on it. I'm such a sucker for animals. Isn't that a beautiful piece? This is Hillary Pieces. I'll never say the name right. P-E-C-I-S. Clementine's Bookshelf. I just thought that was so pretty and so colorful. We have our... Our everyday person ads here for secret. Look at those pretty um, blue nails. This is a cool ad too. 
Iris App Falls. Um, she's created a app fell. She's created a line of kitchen cabinets at least. There might be more than that. Um, the Bold Ambition Kitchen featuring matte black appliances and brushed copper hardware. So it's a lot of black and white, but look at all the green interspersed throughout. It's back there, there's a green pan, green plants. That black and white wall covering has green outlines. There is a lot of copper. Let's fold out, let's take a look at what. Mm. What better way to express yourself than your kitchen, is her quote. And then the green floor, it's very, it's different, isn't it? And this, um, so this is cafe. Cafe customizable professional collection. And you can customize appliances. And look at the tile behind that stove. Aren't those colors beautiful together on that tile? Here we have the um, more work from the LA artist. This is Ruby Neary, and she created that sculpture. It's called Flowers. And this is by Lily Stockman. Here are more. That's Hillary and another one of her paintings. I'm just in love with her art. And this is Austin Wiener in her studio. Large um, painting. Vogue has teamed up with Indigar. Looks like we missed this one, the March events, but never fear, they're coming in October. And this is a, an exclusive fashion trip curated by the editors at Vogue and um, a luxury tra travel planning company, Indigar, with a whole laundry list of things to do. And look at these two in bed, waiting to be served something. I don't know. That's the life, huh? But you can go too. I don't know how much it is. Look it up. And this is an exhibit for the Chinese designer Gu Guo Pi, I would say. But look at, there's Rihanna. This was in 2012 wearing a gown by that designer that I can't say their name. And this is at San Francisco's Legion of Honor Museum. And they have a so showcase of designs. Look at that yellow gown. How beautiful. Where was she? Uh, at a Met Gala. Organic Sleep from Avocado. And this is an article on Sky High Farm in the Hudson Valley. And you can buy um, clothing from them. Um, designers donate excess fabric, from what I can understand, for them to make t-shirts and whatnot. But they grow produce and they donate it to people in New York City. Look at that beautiful uh, landscape. This guy doesn't even look real. There's a couple menacing figures on this um, Gucci Bloom ad. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're up to. And there's a castle in the background. And a hand with some pointy, 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 purpley blue nails. New Eau de Toilette. And it smells good. Look at the beautiful ad with the beautiful flowers. Vogue at the get the very best of everything. It sounds like handpicked again by Vogue editors. Here's more pictures of the farm. This was a good quote, I think, by one of the people. You get 10 farmers in a room, and you have 10 artists in a room, let's say. The artists are going to seem really normal. I love that. Their remark on farming. It's funny. There's a 
Doviad. Best of friends. Fashion rivalries? That's so last century as Fendachi, the joyful coming together of Versace and Fendi proves. Fendi. A collaboration. We have uh, a photo kind of uh, commemorating that. Huh? Two contrasting models there. So Chopania, we would see that in a Better Homes and Gardens. And this is a, a story about a um, like a colorist on the move, an up-and-coming colorist in New York City that the um, a lot of the hip people in showbiz go to to get their dye jobs. And look at all these different little foils. And that's a cute picture. It's funny. Um, and well, let's say their person's name. I know their the first name. Their person is Jenna Perry. She has big plans for her New York flagship and the next generation of in-demand dye jobs. And Maud Apatow says that Jenna is always ahead of trends. Very British scandal there. Um, three new shows take inspiration from real life. I always get an ad up to watch that. I didn't know Paul Bettany's in it. I don't know anything about it. So that's one of them, of the three. The other one is We Crashed, and the other one is The First Lady. On Showtime. There's a cigarette ad. Out of all the magazines I sit and read, that's the first cigarette ad. It's for um, American Spirit. And here's our story on Bella Hadid. There's the dress that we saw on the cover. And here she is on a swing. Some kind of a swing in boots, a dress, and a sweater on. Black and white photo. She has an angelic face, for sure. And here she is in a babbling stream, a babbling brook. And a top and a long patchwork skirt. Her industry reputation is that she's unfailingly polite. Let me see some pictures pretty soon of her as a child with her sister. A bona fide supermodel. Look at that shot. Bare midriff. And like I said before, these were taken in Pennsylvania on their farm. Look at that beautiful outfit. Isabella is her real name. Shortened to Bella. Her mother was a Dutch born model, Yolanda. Father Mohammed Hadid, from a Palestinian who fled to Syria uh, in 1948 with his parents before settling in Washington, D.C., and that's where she was born. Tank top, probably a skirt, look at those cheekbones. The, the, the lighting on that photo is just beautiful. Here she is in a long, very form-fitting blue dress. There's her mother, Yolanda. And Gigi and Anwar. And here are some photos of her as a child. Uh, she has been diagnosed as an adult with Lyme disease and babesiosis, which is uh, another tip tick-borne illness. Um, here she is on some kind of a uh, all-terrain vehicle going through a field. 
Everything I do in my personal life is literally to make sure that my mental state stays above water. Fashion can make you or break you, she says. And this is Code Breakers. It says, the old constraints of gendered dressing have all but disappeared. And this is on the runways and the street. Blazers, dresses, trousers, and skirts are all fair game, whoever you are, and however you want to wear them. Same model, same model, same model, same model. See what they're doing here? That's kind of cool, isn't it? They both wear each outfit. Look at it. This kind of makes you do a double take. That's wonderful. Make a lot of tennis shoes with that. Here we have a whole rainbow of models. Got all colors and genders and hair colors and it's wonderful. As you like it. Wearing a lot of high um, fashion here. But it's all black and white. And this is a Gucci jumpsuit, floral. It kind of looks like a 70s, um, or 50s, 60s, or 70s tablecloth or couch. And then they have like these snake skin shoes on. This person does. This is what it looks like without a person, and this is what it looks like with a person. It's cool. Oh, look at this. I haven't looked at this picture yet. I did leaf through this. No, I, I did see this. Isn't that wonderful? A lot of different looks here. So colorful. Look at all the different colors in that sweater over a pretty floral dress. Look at that beautiful purple sash. That's quite a... They've mixed... Um, really what they want. It's a lot of mixing of the shoes and the different um, components to the outfit. Look at those. Wait a minute. There are those, yeah. Shoes. And they've got some slippers or something on their hands. This is a cool picture. This is all the same outfit. All these different people, but only one has a big toothy grin. Everybody else is just looking at us, letting us see their beautiful face. And these, this is a combination of Dior and Chanel clothing. Oh, I almost lost my little, my little flower there. This is an article about Macbeth, the production of Macbeth that is on Broadway with Daniel Craig and Ruth Nega. I hope I'm saying Ruth's last name right there. She's beautiful. Look at that kind of very dramatic, like almost blood red tinged shot. Mystery, ma magic, and rage combine. And what I found interesting about this is Barbara Broccoli produced this play, Barbara Broccoli of the um, James Bond, um, of James Bond fame. Look at this black and white photo. It's very dramatic. I would love to see it. And this is a story on Jennifer Egan who wrote a visit from the Goon Squad. I'm assuming this is in a New York apartment. Look at the parquet floor, a covered radiator, Look at that beautiful long window. She's written a new book, um, and I think it's called Candy House. Yes.
I loved this story. I'm a sucker for, um, especially an English garden. This is about Kim Jones, who works for Fendi. And this is Kim's English mansion. With a beautiful, wild, not manicured English garden. So this is his refuge in an 18th century Sussex home. And it says straight out of an E.M. Forrester novel. Look at the dog. Looks kind of like my son's dog. So E.M. Forrester, a room with a view. Oh, look at those. E.M. Forrester wrote a room with a view and uh, Howard's End sure more but that's what comes to my mind and here we have some beautiful shots of the home look at that beautiful screen and the door is opening to look outside a beautiful bouquet and a, the stone fireplace my go-to one of my go-to ways to sleep is to put on a, a, a movie like I just mentioned both of those are books and movies A Room with a View and Howard's End anything with an English setting I'm currently watching the whole series of Doc Martin again um, set in um, it's a fictional town I think it's tech, I think it's really called Port Isaac, Isaac um, in Cornwall, England. It, but it, it's my that's um, melatonin for me. But look at this beautiful place that uh, Kim gets to live in, and here he is. And here's more photos of the home. They're just beautiful photos. And here he is peeking out of his one of his probably many windows of his home. And here's an article about um, a new trend on relationships. The more the merrier. And this artsy photo or artsy painting is called no it's a paper collage and it is our dance by Sophie Matisse and this article says is consensual non-monogamy the new till death do us part it's pretty short oh no it's it's continued and This is going to be something that, you know, it, hey, if it works for you, do it. Here comes the door. And they passed. I thought today was going to be quiet because there's no school in the school across the street from me where there are usually gleeful children playing at various recesses all day. There's no school today because it's hot and there's no air conditioning in that school. It's old. But I've had some challenges with, you know, their trucks and stuff going by. But here's Gigi. The recurring theme in her beautiful photos that we're about to look at is this red bag, this red Chanel bag. Some of the photos are black and white, so, but I'm pretty sure it's all the same red bag in uh, various, with her having various outfits on, and Gigi Hadid, um, and in various, um, mostly streetscapes. So let's take a look at it. Here she is on. Look, doesn't that look smart? That beautiful shirt and tie, and a beautiful trouser, and a boot. And here she is, at least in this photo, on Fifth Avenue. There's the bag. A big smile on her face. And here she is with 
Uggs on. I'm pretty sure this is the same outfit. It's just this is black and white, right? Is this a, um, oh, I thought maybe this was like a, well, this is a jumpsuit and it's by Freaktopia. Look at these doggies. I wonder if those are her dogs. I don't know, but their bag is the constant in all of it. There's my work paper floating in. Sorry. And I love this photo. Look at her. Both her feet are off the ground. She's levitating in that beautiful suit. I'm going to lift it up. I have to see who this suit's by. Christopher John Rogers. That's the jacket, at least, anyway. Jacket and pants. They're not calling it a suit. They're calling it a jacket and pants. Christopher John Rogers. With a red, that red bag. Look at her. She looks beautiful. Beautiful is the word of the day, huh? This is a whole um, story on nails. The, the fashion accessory of nails. And, oh, I should have I seen what the model's name is. I'll never be able to say it. Ada Akech. I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong. She's in a few of them. Uh, Bella is in a few of them. There she is. Oh, maybe they're the only two. Ad Adut. A-D-U-T. I gotta find out how you say her name. Look at that figure. Beautiful purple jumpsuit. And she's got on long silver nails. And there's a, um, like a mirror image theme in all of them. Well, this one, and then you'll see one with Bella. And they're, um, she's playing cards. Look at these little um, mini bags. I think they all are featuring a nail and a mini bag. Look at those beautiful braids. How long. I love it. Look at these nails. And then she's got on a uh, a dress. I thought it was a jumpsuit. Look at the tiny little bag and her uh, metallic nails. And look at that. It has like chains hanging off of them. And a little chain bag and just a brassiere shirt top. It's not a shirt. It's just a little top. I mean that is making a statement, isn't it? you imagine the sounds it makes when she's um, moving her hand? They make the, the sounds the chains make. This is a picture. I mean, look at that dress. That's just such a good picture. It's so beautiful. And she has her beautiful nails and rings. And a little tiny pink little mini bag. It's just so lovely. Kind of matches the pink tablecloth. Oh, look at those. Those are like built up. They're works of art, as is she. And there's a hot pink mini bag. And look at this green shirt. It's traffic stopping. There's another green. Um, a different, a certain, a diff certainly a different color. But look at those nails. And her shirt, her beaded shirt. Bangs. There are all different uh, things to buy. The Get. Givenchy Backpack. Aragamo Silk Foulard. Rapassi Robert Maplethorpe Necklace. What's this bag? Dior. Oh, it says right there. Look at the colors, though. I wasn't really, um, 
I was looking more at the colors than that. It says right on it, Chloe Boutiques, this shoe. And what about this shoe? Chaos X Prada shoe. It's Prada. And what is that behind this model? I don't know. Bag Fendi. Oh, Louis Vuitton perfume. Lisa Eisner earrings. New Balance shoe. Coach tote. Look, it's a Central Park. And there's a Van Cleef and Arpels ring. I'm going to look that up. I bet you, I bet you that's, um, yeah, pricey. Oh, Allure has a beauty box. Dis all products discovered by beauty editors. I don't buy stuff like that. Um, I just, um, I'm trying to use up what I have beauty product-wise. I work at home, so I don't um, wear usually any makeup. I do try to take care of my skin though when I do paint my nails. Here comes a plane. The Vogue List. What is that? Promotions and events in April. Well, that has passed. Vogue.com backslash promotions to learn about events. Here's the continuation of Bella's article. She's in a two year strong relationship from what it sounds like. What did I see her? I don't know what the man does. I don't know. He's not a model. I know that much. Or in the articles section. Look at these shoes. Manolo Blahnik for Birkenstock. Polka dot shoes. And look at the two polka dot backgrounds. Yellow and orange. So they have made a 10 piece collection in their collaboration. It says it's a psychedelic epiphany. <laughs> and this, that last thing, this is um, Solange. And this is, again, Guau Pei. I don't, I gotta find out how to say that. It says, think a century ahead. This is an ad for champagne. Louis XIII presents Believe in Time. But that's a beautiful photo. She's kind of blurred. I would love to see the gown. I'm going to look on the internet and try to find the ad. Here's a Gucci ad at the end. Look at this guy. He's just like, I just, I'm ready to go home, maybe. But she looks happy, doesn't she? That reminds me of Madonna. But we're all done. I thank you for taking a little break with me today, and listening to me try to say these names. I think I didn't do so bad. I don't know. I that bony little wrist on this person. But I hope you have a good day and thank you for watching.